Wall Street is eyeing the release of the Fed minutes from when the word patient was removed from the statement. Joining me now is Brian Rayling. He is the co-head of Global Fixed Income Strategy at Wells Fargo Investment Institute. Hi, Brian. Hello, Sue. How are you doing? Great, thanks. So on a rather uneventful day for economic data, the rate hiking guessing game is picking up again. You think sometime before summer, so in June or after in September, is when interest rates will start to rise. But after the weakness in the latest job report, do you think that those are both maybe not going to happen? Yeah, I think June's probably out of the time, uh, out, of, out of the picture. But uh, I think September, um, not that the Fed needs to raise rates, but I think they want to get started at some point this year. So, um, you know, I think September is still uh, a likely a first increase in short term interest rates. And the Fed's job is to make sure the financial market is resilient to volatility. The equity markets are experiencing wild swings, and stocks are quite uh, high right now. You cover the fixed income market, so you may be a little biased, but do you think investors should reevaluate before putting more positions into stocks right now? No, I don't think so. I, you know, looking out, we still like the equity market better than the fixed income market. Yes, you're going to have to be comfortable with a little bit more volatility, but we do see the stock market higher at year end. And um, at zero interest rates, so how do you generate positive returns for fixed income portfolios? Well, it's difficult. Um, if you're too short, you are nothing. Uh, and if you get too long, I don't think you want to lock in these types of rates for the next 10, 20 years. Um, so really kind of that intermediate portion of the maturity spectrum. Um, think about even laddering positions. So you have a maturities coming due uh, at regular periods of time to reinvest, hopefully at higher interest rates. And looking ahead to 2016, the world's largest fixed income portfolio may take center stage. That's when the Fed has to decide what to do with it. Um, how do you think the unwinding is going to play out? Well, I don't anticipate that the Fed is going to be both raising rates and unwinding their portfolio at the same time. So uh, I think what we'll see them do is continue to reinvest uh, unless we get an economy that really starts to strengthen. So I think uh, we'll probably um, uh, only have the Fed doing one thing at a time. And before I let you go, Brian, really quickly, just going back to your first, uh, our first uh, conversation, why do you think the Fed has to raise rates this year? Why can they, why can they not hold off till 2016? Well, they could hold off, but I think they want to get in the process of uh, some type of normalization, some rate increases. The problem being, uh, as we move further in this cycle, uh, once the cycle at some point begins to turn and uh, the economy starts to weaken again, the Fed needs uh, some tools in its toolbox, uh, so to speak, to uh, help ease uh, the next recession. So um, some higher rates where they can then lower uh, is, is a... I think a priority at some point here over the not too distant future for the Fed. Great. Thanks, Brian, for sharing your insight with us. Brian Rayling is the co head of Global Fixed Income Strategy at Wells Fargo Investment Institute. And for The Street, I'm Susanna Lee.